Hey, hello guys, this is Shubo Brother and welcome back to my channel, Circulation. Today, I am going to discuss about which microcontroller board you should use in 2022 according to the features and the price. So don't skip the video, watch till the end. Let's get started. Today, I will discuss about six microcontrollers. Actually, it's not 6, it's 5 because I kept the Arduino Nano and Arduino Uno in same category because they use the same microcontroller chips. So, in this comparison, I will talk about Arduino Uno Nano, Arduino Mega, ESP8266, ESP32 and the last STM32. First, I will differentiate by the clock speed. The clock speed of Uno Nano and Mega is 16 MHz. ESP8266 have a clock speed of 80 MHz and ESP32 is double in clock speed from ESP8266 means 160 MHz and STM32 have 72 MHz clock frequency. Now the microcontroller architecture. Uno, Nano and Mega share the same architecture that is AVR RISC 8-bit architecture. Both the ESP32 and ESP8266 board is from Espressive Systems. They use Extensa 32-bit architecture. Only the STM32 uses ARM Cortex M3 32-bit architecture. And you know, nowadays ARM architecture is also used in smartphones. Now I will discuss about the communication protocol accessibilities. First is I2C communication protocol. Arduino Uno, Nano, Mega, ESP8266 and 32 have a single channel I2C communication port. But STM32 has dual channel I2C communication. Now Arduino Uno, Nano, Mega and ESP8266 have single SPI bus. But ESP32 and STM32 have dual SPI buses. If we see then we can notice that only STM32 has CAN bus communication capability in this comparison. Next we have USART or UART communication. In case of Uno Nano they have single UART channel but Mega has 4 UART channels. ESP8266, ESP32 have 2 UART channels but the last STM32 has 3 UART channels. PWM output is an essential feature of a microcontroller. Uno Nano have 6 PWM channels, Mega has 15, ESP8266 has 8, ESP32 has 16 and STM32 has 15 PWM channels. For taking the data from the analog output type sensors, we need analog input channels. Uno has 6 and Nano has 8 analog input channels. Mega and ESP32 have 16 analog input channels, ESP8266 has only single analog input channel and STM32 has 10 channels for its analog input. Next, we will compare the microcontroller board by their number of input outputs or IOs. Uno and Nano have 22 number of IOs, Mega has 70, ESP8266 has 17, ESP32 has 36 and the last STM32 has 32 input output ports or input output pins. Now we will talk about the resolution of input and output. So in this comparison first we will compare ADC or analog to digital converters resolution. In case of Uno, Nano and Mega it is 8 bit and in case of ESP8266 it's 10 bit. For ESP32 and STM32 they have a 12-bit resolution of in their analog to digital converter. PWM resolution for Uno, Nano and Mega is of 8-bit. For ESP8266 it's 10-bit. For ESP32 it's 12-bit. And STM32 has a resolution of 16-bit in its PWM channels. RTC or real-time clock gives an extra feature to the microcontroller board. But this feature is only available in ESP32 and STM32 boards. Now I will talk about the memory. But I am not going to read all the memory. But you can clearly see that ESP32 has biggest memory space. Its flash size is 4MB and static RAM or SRAM size is 520KB. 
while we are working with microcontrollers sometimes or most of the times we have to debug problems for debugging there are several methods but arduino uno and nano uses only serial debugging and the rest of the microcontroller boards in this comparison uses serial as well as jtag debugging in this age of iot wireless connectivity gives a next level feature to the microcontroller boards in this comparison only esp32 has bluetooth connectivity and esp8266 and esp32 have wi-fi connectivity now the last comparison which is price comparison 6 to 8 months before all the boards comes under 500 rupees except mega but now the arduino boards price are touching the sky the price of arduino nano and uno is in between rupees 500 to 700 and the price of the mega is 1800 rupees but you can get the esp266 and stm32 board in 250 rupees which are more powerful than arduino but cheap but you can get esp32 in 450 rupees so in my opinion if you are uh, making some project which uses some normal sensors uh, leds or motors so you can use esp8266 or stm32 because it's cheaper than arduino boards and you can uh, program these boards in arduino id and for iot projects obviously you have to use esp8266 and esp32 boards I hope you guys like this video if so then make sure you hit the like button and let me know in the comment section below that which microcontroller board you use in your, in your most of the project and if you want to help me then you can buy me a coffee link is given in the description and if you are watching me for the first time or new to this channel then make sure you hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon and the most important thing be creative.